we will now discuss the solution of a problem from three dimensional geometry the problem is on the shortest distance between the given two skew lines the problem has appeared in jgg main examination held on 22nd july 2021 in the afternoon shift the problem is if the shortest distance between the straight lines 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 6 times y minus 2 is equal to 2 times z minus 1 and 4 times x minus 2 is equal to 2 times y minus lambda is equal to z minus 3 where lambda is a real number e is 1 by root of 38 then the integral value of lambda is equal to the four options are given to us solution the given lines are these are the two given lines which we have seen in the last slide and uh, putting these lines in a standard normal form we get x minus 1 by 1 by 3 is equal to y minus 2 by 1 by 6 is equal to z minus 1 by 1 by 2 and the second equation is x minus 2 by 1 by 4 is equal to y minus lambda by 1 by 2 is equal to z minus 3 by 1 now we recall the shortest distance between the lines x minus x1 by a1 is equal to y minus y1 by b1 is equal to z minus z1 by c1 and x minus x2 by a2 is equal to y minus y2 by b2 is equal to z minus z2 by c2 is given by it is the absolute value of the quotient the denominator is the 3 by 3 determinant first row whose first row is x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 z2 minus z1 and the second row is a1 b1 c1 third row a2 b2 c2 and the denominator is under the square root of sigma b1 c1 b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole square now we have the given lines in the standard normal form and we have the shortest distance formula and uh, we have x2 is 2 y2 is lambda z2 is 3 x1 is 1 y1 is 2 z1 is 1 and a1 is 1 by 3 b1 is 1 by 6 c1 is 1 by 2 a2 is 1 by 4 b2 is 1 by 2 c2 is equal to 1 substituting these values in this formula we get the absolute value of that 3 by 3 determinant with those values and under the square root of sigma b1 c2 minus b2 c1 whole square that we have written as the absolute value of the numerator the numerator is that 3 by 3 determinant and the denominator is that under the square root of the whole thing now we will calculate these things and compute the shortest distance numerator is that 3 by 3 determinant and in this the we multiply the second row by 6 and divide the de determinant by 6 and multiply the entries of the third row by 4 and divide by the determinant divide the determinant 
by 4. So we will get 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 into 2 minus 1 lambda minus 2, 2 and 6 times 6 times 1 by 3, 2, 6 times 1 by 6, 1, 6 times 1 by 2, 3. Likewise, 1, 2, 4, the third row. Now, expanding, that is equal to 1 by 24, we expand the determinant by the first row. We get 1 into 4 minus 6 minus into lambda minus 2 into 2 fours are 8 minus 3 plus 2 times 2 twos are 4 minus 1. So we get simplifying 1 by 24 multiplied by 14 minus 5 lambda. That is the numerator. We now compute the denominator. The denominator is to compute the denominator, we have this B1, so A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, but we have written B1, C1, A1, B1, B2, C2, A2, B2 and cross multiply and then write that denominator that is equal to under the square root of sigma B1, C2 minus B2, C1 whole square. So we get this one and we take out 1 by 6 and 1 by 4, 1 by 6 into 1 by 1 by 4 from each bracket comma. So that if, when you take 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 comma, when it comes out of the square, square, it becomes a square. So that will be equal to under the square root of 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 whole square multiplied by this one. So you will get 4 minus 6 whole square plus 3 minus 8 whole square plus 4 minus 1 whole square. So simplifying, so 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 whole square will come out as 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 multiplied by under the square root of 4 plus 25 plus 9 that is 1 by 24 into under the square root of 38. And we have the uh, shortest distance is equal to the absolute value of the numerator by the denominator. The numerator is this, the absolute value of 1 by 24 into 14 minus 5 lambda by 1 by 24 into under the square root of 38. That is the absolute value of 14 minus 5 lambda by root 38. But it is given in the question to us that the shortest distance is 1 by root 38. Equating, we get we get this cancelling under the square root of 38 on both sides. We get absolute value of 14 minus 5 lambda is equal to 1. That will imply 14 minus 5 lambda is equal to plus or minus 1. And 14 minus 5 lambda is equal to 1 will give you 5 lambda is equal to 13. 14 minus 5 lambda is equal to minus 1 will give you 5 lambda is equal to 15. So the integral value of lambda will be 5 lambda is equal to 15 will give you lambda is equal to 3. So what are the options given to us? So options 1, 2, 3, 4 are before us and lambda is equal to 3 is the integral value which appears against the option 1. So therefore our answer is option 1. And this is the discussion of the solution of the problem from three-dimensional geometry on the shortest distance between the given two skew lines. I hope that you have understood the solution of it. I wish you all the best. Thank you.